Hey guys, this is Sonny from SNS Productions. Today we're going to be showing you how to connect an Android device to the Behringer X32 rack. Uh, the first step on the rack is to hit the setup button, navigate over to the network tab, and enter whatever IP address you would like um, using 192.168.1.50. You'll obviously need a router connected to the remote Ethernet port on the X32 rack and you will need to be connected to that Wi-Fi with your Android device be it a phone or a tablet. Uh, so today I am using the Nexus 10 the Google Nexus 10 so I've typed in the IP address I'm going to connect it found that console so it's going to download the data and then you'll see it's connected and then we'll briefly go through the app you'll see your different channels that have come over from the board you can tap on a channel and configure it in different ways you can turn on gates you can adjust the EQ dynamics you can see your different sends for your mixed bus sends if you want to send it to a monitor or uh, FX or anything like that you can hold down the button and turn on uh, Phantom Power, you can link it to another channel. If you hold down the button, uh, you can change the colors of your different channels, you can change the uh, names. Uh, if you come up over here, you can hit the meter button, you can see all your meters during a show. Um, the next button, you can set your different mute groups. So you can select which channels you want part of that mute group. Uh, you can come back over here. Uh, if you hold down the channel layer, you can add different channels onto here to view. Now to get to that, You want to go into the setup, console setup, I'm sorry, layer, and you can view different channels and edit the channels themselves. So say we want to view 12 channels per layer, you can see now there's four extra channels there. So when I hold down the channel 1 through 8, I can add a channel. So if I want to view my uh, aux 5 and 6 and uh, maybe some effects on there. Now the aux 5 and 6, that's um, the RCA in on the back, so you know, tape or CD player, something like that. Um, and then you have your different effects. You can view all those right there. Um, when you hold down that channel, you can change the name of it. So if I wanted to do that on the next set of faders, you can even um, add your different DCA groups in there. So if you had a DCA group set up for vocals or drums or anything like that, you could see those right alongside your faders. Um, next is your FX. You can see your different effects that are going in there, the different buses that are sending to those. You can recall scenes. Again, there's different setups. You can go into the stri uh, scribble strips and change the names and the, the colors of your different channels. So just some basic overall functionality. Everything's listed on the right. You have the effects button. You have your different bus sends here. You can rename those to whatever, if you have drum monitors or whatever else you want to name it. Um, your DCA is down at the bottom, so you can see those there. And that's basically it. You can do uh, a lot of different functionality. If you hit the three dots up at the top, you can go to the USB player. You can play anything from USB or record right to USB from within the app. And that's basically it. And then uh, over here, I'm also using the LG G3. 
and you can look at it in either, let me zoom out a bit, horizon tool or um, portrait mode and you can see it, uh, it does all the same functionality. There's a find button, if you hit the find button it's more uh, granular, more incremental changes that you're making. So that's it, that's uh, the X32 app. Uh, it's called Mixing Station. Uh, you can find it in the uh, Google Play Store. And um, hopefully that'll help get you guys started.